Hello, I'm Dr. Gordon McClory, and I'm a pediatric urologist at Chalk Children's Urology Center. And we're going to talk today about vesicoureteral reflux, sometimes known as VUR. VUR involves the backward flow of urine from the bladder up to the kidneys. Our diagram will show you the various grades of reflux, and I'm using the term reflux as in VUR. You will see that grades one, the urine goes only partially to the kidneys. Grades two, three, four, and five extend more graphically into the kidneys involving dilation of the kidneys. When the child has a urinary tract infection, this, this child with reflux then delivers the infection directly to the kidneys, which results in the child being very ill and can, when extended or not treated, result in injury to the kidneys. Prophylactic antibiotics, that is low-grade antibiotics taken daily, have been the mainstay of treatment for 30 years. There is now an ongoing trial, of which I am a member in the nation, of 30 centers called the River Trial that is questioning whether this is the best methods or whether the kidneys will be equally safe without using them. This trial results will be available in about a year, until which time we still use the prophylactic low-dose antibiotics as the mainstay of treatment. These antibiotics are safe because they are excreted entirely in the urine and thereby do, are not transmitted widely to the child's body and that's what allows them to get out of having resistance. Surgery in the first place is used much less often now in vesicoureteral reflux than it was previously. Many uh, parents of children, 20% uh, of whom will have a child with reflux, are aware that 10, 20 years ago there were many operations that were done. Ten years ago, another simpler treatment came into place of the injection of a substance called deflux into the bladder of children. This has made the treatment much easier, but again we have found that it was probably being used more often than needed to be done. We know that most children with reflux, if we treat their bladder and bowel dysfunction, that is constipation and infrequent voiding, most of them will resolve the reflux spontaneously as a process of growth and development. The other form of surgery that was used and is now used much less often is an open repair of the valve itself in which we remake the muscles of the ureter going into the bladder so that they function properly. Those operations are and were very successful. The change is that we use them much less frequently.